Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a long time since I've uh, made a video. Actually, it's been uh, a really long time. And I'm really sorry about that, so we're going to keep going and keep making a series. Uh, I've been working, so I didn't have time to uh, make the series. I've been working away out of town. So, Anyways, uh, we're going to keep going. And uh, today we're going to be installing uh, Storage Spaces Direct onto our cluster node and uh, we're gonna get that going and then we're gonna create a <coughs> storage pool <coughs> of all our hard drives so that they're all inside of one pool <coughs> and then we're gonna create a virtual disk on it and also create a volume and uh, <coughs> we're, we're gonna stop there once we have all that done and uh, that will be uh, what we're gonna do in this video anyways so, um, yeah, I just want to say that uh, if you guys need cheap hosting, I am selling hosting now on my website. You can check it out. Uh, there's a link below down there, Cameros Web Services. Check it out if you, need, if you need hosting, if this doesn't work out for you. Okay, let's go on to the workstation and let's get started. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the workstation. Uh, I'm really glad to be back at work with you guys here. So today we're going to go ahead and uh, do a new storage pool on our two server nodes. And uh, we're going to create a virtual disk on that node, on that pool. And then uh, on that disk we will be creating a volume. <coughs> right. Jesus. Alright. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and open our uh, remote desktop manager so we can log into one of our nodes. Come on. Alright, remote desktop manager. So we're gonna, I'm going to log into uh, home server 2. <coughs> I'm going to close this. And I am going to start a command PowerShell. Alright. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in this command enable cluster storage spaces direct. And then you're going to want to do auto config semicolons, semicolons zero. And then we're going to do skip eligibility, eligibility. Ah, I can't even say that word. Ability checks. Just like that. And then hit enter. And it's going to enable storage spaces break. Performing the action on target main cluster. Yes. So right now it's going to claim all the disks that are available on both clusters, clustered machines. So we're going to wait for this to be finished. <coughs> Alright, so that action is finished. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, I want to show you if we type in get physical disk here. Disks and uh, the command. Oh. Sorry, get physical disk. So if I type in this command now, it's going to show me all the disks that are in the pool. And uh, there's four disks. And then uh, these ones can pool, all of these ones. And then uh, this one cannot, as it says right there. And that's what we want. But as you notice on the media type here, it says that three of them are unspecified. So they're not specified as HH HDD. So when I try to make the storage pool, it won't work. So what we need to do is we need to set these devices as, as HDD. So they each have different numbers in them. <coughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, no, sorry. The, we're going to use this number. We're going to use the friendly name. So they all have, all of these ones have the same one, same friendly name. So what we're going to go ahead is go set physical disk and then friendly 
name. And then the friendly name is going to be this. And I'm going to set it to the media type HDD. There you go, that's done. So now if we get the physical disk again, you'll see that they're all HDD now. Alright, so now that's done. So now we're going to actually create a variable called physical disk. And then it's going to equal to this command, which is get physic physical disk. And then we're going to make sure that it's can pool is equal to true. Oops. So our variable is e e going to equal to get physical pool, uh, disk can pool, which is these four disks that are here, which are the ones that we want. And they're all the exact same ones. I don't know why they got different friendly names because they're all the exact same drives. But anyways. Okay, so there's our variable. So now we're gonna create a new storage pool. And we're gonna call it friendly name. I'm gonna call it uh, just uh, um, cluster data. And we're going to get a storage subsystem subsystem friendly name and that is going to be clustered windows storage on main cluster Alright, so I just want to make sure that I got all the spelling right. Yes. Alright. And <clears throat> I'm also going to make it the, we're going to attach the physical disk to it. And that's going to equal to our variable, which is physical disks. Okay, so same thing. And then we're going to make our resiliency setting name default and that's going to be mirror okay so there's a big long command and we're going to type in provisioning type default fixed And we're going to type in verbose so we get lots of information on what's going on. <coughs> Alright, so let's create our new storage pool. Okay, now that our uh, storage pool has been created, now we're going to use the Windows Admin Center uh, to continue our work here so we could create our volume. So we're going to open the Windows Admin Center. Uh, if you don't have the Windows Admin Center, uh, if you uh, search for one of my other videos, uh, I will show you how to install this on, a, on your workstation. So as you can see, my Windows Admin Center has uh, already all my stuff is added to it. So I'm going to connect the main cluster. <coughs> Connecting 
All right, CPU usage, memory, blah, blah, blah. So if we click on drives, we can see that we have four drives. And right now there's only five gigs being used. And we got four terabytes available. And uh, some of it's being reserved. I'm not quite sure why. But uh, anyways, um, oh, it's for repairs and stuff. So anyways, uh, when we go to volumes here, we'll see that we have no volume. So we need to click on inventory and click create. And we're going to call this uh, main storage. And it's a two-way mirror, and we can't change it because that's how our storage pool is set. And as you can see, we got three gigs. But when we, I'm going to change just the gigs. You'll see estimated footprint when we put in 1,500 gigs. You see the footprint is about double because we have a two-way mirror right now. So uh, I still have a little bit of room here, so I'm going to go 1,700 gigs. There you go, 1,700 gigs is equal to about two te two terabytes. Uh, because it's been mirrored, uh, so we're gonna click here. Uh, use deduplication and compression. <coughs> uh, data type, yeah, Hyper-V. All right, and hit create. So it's gonna create the volume. And now we have one healthy volume. And if we go back to inventory, creating volume successfully. And that's the right file system that we want. And we can see that it's 1.66 terabyte. And right now there's nothing on it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to create a virtual machine. Let's look at the virtual switches first, though. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so virtual machines. And there's going to be nothing running on the main cluster yet. So we're going to go to inventory. And we're going to create a new VM. And this is going to be called my uh, main server. And the VM is going to be generation one. Generation two might work actually. And the main host is going to be home server two. And that's the pat. Uh, how many virtual processors? Two is good. Startup, we're going to use dynamic memory. So between 0.5 and 16 gigs, we're going to make sure that it's connected to external. And we're going to add storage. <coughs> and we're going to make sure that it's uh, 1600 gigs. And now we're going to want to open, install an operating system, which I'm going to download Ubuntu 18. Ubuntu 18 LTS by Onyx Beaver. So we're going to download the server image 64 bit. Downloading and wait for that to be finished. Alright, so we got an image right here. So we're going to select that. Go OK. And I'm going to hit create. And it's going to create a virtual machine for us on our cluster. So it's successfully created. So right now it's stopped. But uh, we're going to start it. And we are going to hit connect. <coughs> Connecting to the VM. It might ask for some credentials. 
<coughs> Here's the credentials. And there we go. We can see we're connected to the VM and it's uh, ready to install Ubuntu. So this is where I'm going to end the video for today. And uh, in the next video, we're going to install Ubuntu, uh, virtual main, and our stack, which is going to be a LAMP stack, which is going to be a, a PHP, uh, NGIX, and we're going to install Maria database with that too. So um, yeah, till next time, thank you for watching.